Why is it that some reactions happen faster than others? If you add sodium to water, it explodes. But baking a cake takes forever! Scientists have a theory for this. To put it mathematically, yes, I'm about to throw an equation at you. Rate of reaction equals the number of collisions multiplied by the fraction of effective collisions. This theory is called collision theory. But you probably guessed that from the title. Collision theory states that for a reaction to progress, the molecules must meet three criteria. Number one, the molecules must collide. That is kind of common sense. A molecule over here isn't going to react with a molecule all the way over there. It's like if you're insulting your friend that's really far away. Your dancing sucks. If they're too far to hear you, they're not going to react. Second, the molecules must collide with sufficient energy. A little background on chemical reactions. They can be modeled using energy level diagrams. On the x-axis, reaction progress. On the y-axis, energy. An exothermic reaction, for example, would start here and end here, because by definition, the reaction gives off energy. But in the middle, it doesn't just go straight down. From initial energy to the top of the hump is the activation energy. It's like if a friend is pushing you. If they're just poking you, you're probably not going to react. Meh. But if they slap you across the face, you're going to react. <laughs> Finally, molecules must collide with correct geometry. Molecules have all different kinds of crazy shapes. And those all different kinds of crazy shapes react with corresponding all different kinds of crazy shapes. The molecules must also be oriented correctly, but spatial orientation is a branch of geometry, so the term applies. This would probably make a lot more sense, I mean, the, the crazy shapes thing, if you knew Vesper geometry or basic organic chemistry. There's some helpful links in the not sidebar. Think about it like Lego. You have two bricks. A connection is analogous to a chemical reaction. A reaction can't take place if the bricks aren't lined up to connect, or if one of the bricks is the wrong shape. But when the reactive part of each brick is lined up and they're both the right shape, provided all other criteria are met, a reaction happens. So to sum it up, molecules must collide with enough energy and the correct geometry and the correct spatial orientation, but that's a bit redundant. But whoa, 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 whoa. That still doesn't explain why some reactions happen faster than others. Let's take a look at the variables of that equation that I threw at you at the beginning of the video. Affecting rate of reaction is the number of collisions times the fraction of effective collisions. There are five main factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction. They are temperature, surface area, presence of a catalyst, nature of reactants, and pressure in no particular order. Collision theory only really explains why chemical reactions happen. This explains why some happen faster than others, but I'll explain it more in detail in part two. There's a link in the not sidebar. Go check it out. Presence of a catalyst. Nature. I almost said naked of reactants. 